things that you said Cause I wish you didn't mean it What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do three looks with the new Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. This is one of those palettes where I wasn't sure if people were going to be super stoked for it, but wow did I get a lot of questions asking if I was going to do a three looks video with this one. So I ordered it and here we are. You guys in general, like for some reason my audience specifically seems to really like Huda palettes. Glad that I was able to get my hands on this pretty quickly. By the way, I ordered this on her website the night that it launched and it came so fast and it even got delivered by UPS on a Saturday. Wow, good job, good shipping. This palette is definitely a departure from the color stories we've been seeing lately because it's fall and this is very pastel. But I think it's still a pretty fun palette on the inside. It's got a nice mix of shades. I think a lot of people will find a lot of use in these. Um, I will touch on at the end what I think of the color story and what they could have done differently and what I think of all the formulas in like a little first impression review. So as always, I will timestamp everything down below. So each look will have a timestamp as well as review at the end. And I will also link everything else that I use on my face in the description in case you miss it. We're just gonna get into the tutorials, but before we do, please do not forget to leave a like on this video if you don't mind taking just a quick second to do that because it really helps me and I very much appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe for more makeup videos. I do a lot of them. Subscribe if you have ever had a boogie on your nose the whole day and none of your friends told you and you got home and you looked in the mirror and you saw it and you were really embarrassed because you know what? I would tell you. I might even help you pick it and I would definitely give you a tissue. All right, enough of my rambling nonsense. If you would like to see how I got this look, plus the two others you saw in the intro, just keep on watching. We were gonna start using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. So this is what the Mercury Retrograde Palette looks like on the inside. It's very pastel for this time of year, which I think is a bold move on their part. But a lot of these cool tones, I think can translate really nice for a winter look. So maybe as fall winds down, get some icy goodness out of this. But personally, for me, it's kind of like breaking up the fall tone looks a little bit as far as like what I'm creating for my channel. So right now, I definitely don't mind. I do love my fall tones though, I must admit. I could probably do them all year long and not get sick of it. I've got some serious dry shampoo gray streaks in my hair right now, so just, just ignore those. To start this look, I'm gonna pick up my BH number six brush, which again, dog hair, dog hair on my brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Off Balance and I'm gonna start working that through the crease. On my Sigma E36, I'm gonna go into the shade Hot Mess and I'm gonna start building up that crease color a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little flat brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush from the Pac-Man collection, but any small little packing brush will do just fine. I'm gonna go back into Hot Mess. I'm gonna pack that on the outer corner as well. And again, with my Sigma E36, I'm gonna go into the shade Vortex. I'm gonna use that in the same areas, but a little bit more concentrated. I'm gonna pick up my Nabla Dab and Smudge Brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Libra. It's this lavender shade in the center there. I'm gonna pack that shade over the remaining portion of the lid where we didn't put any shadow down. I'm gonna tap back over the edge of that and the darkest shade in the outer corner with the color Hot Mess just to kind of give them a little bit of a go between. You know, you don't want to be jumping from pastel to like dark eggplant purple. That doesn't usually work out so great. On my Luxie 111 mini brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Haze. I'm gonna use that to do a very big pop of color on the inner corner. I'm going to eventually bring that underneath the eye as well, but because some of these shades were giving me a little bit of fallout in the look that I did in my book video, I'm gonna conceal underneath my eye afterward and then continue that color on the underneath portion after like a two-step kind of a deal. So I'm going to pack that on pretty heavily. I bring that pretty far up onto the eye. Look, I'm really glad that I didn't do the underneath part at the same time because I'm getting a ton of fallout with that. A lot of color payoff, but a lot of fallout. And tap back over the lid portion with Libra just to make those just blend together a bit. I just took out this package of makeup wipes to clean up underneath my eye and I sliced right through the side of the bag with my thumbnail. What kind of beast master shit is this? It's gonna take that makeup wipe and clean up what fell out underneath the eye because it's 
quite a lot. I cleaned off that same brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Super Moon. I may wet that, but I'm gonna see how it applies dry first. And what I'm gonna do is pack that over the inner corner portion of where we put down that turquoise shade to highlight it. Next, I'm gonna add a winged liner to this look, which I'm going to elaborate on in just a moment. But first, gotta put down a base. So I'm gonna grab the Urban Decay Perversion Liquid Liner, currently my favorite. I'm gonna do a nice fat wing with it. Now that that's down, god damn, I love a winged eyeliner. Oh, oh, I digress. I'm gonna take a small angled brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Mercury, which is this lovely one right up here. I'm gonna pack that over the wing to give us a colored wing liner with a shadow. Ooh, she's creamy. Ooh, she's, I'm dipping in here and she's quite creamy. Ooh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. For the waterline, I'm gonna pick up on the teal-ish theme a little bit more. So I'm gonna pick up Deep End from Urban Decay and I'm just gonna run that right on through. I'm gonna grab a Nabla pointed crease brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Hot Mess. Drag that just underneath my lashes and blend that in underneath the pretty little wing we did. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and go back into Vortex again. Use that to deepen up real close to the lash line. This look has me feeling real supernova girl right now. Does anybody remember that? Just me, am I old? Now that that's all finished, I'm gonna go back into the color Haze on that same little Luxie brush. I'm just gonna drag that underneath the inner corner and start blending it into the bottom lash line. And then add a little bit more of Super Moon on the top again. I use the new House of Lashes Siren Double Lashes. I've been loving these lately. I also got the Siren Flare and I haven't tried them yet, but I think they're gonna be fantastic. Stand by, maybe we'll use those in the next look. For the lip, I'm going to use a, an old fave. Haven't used this one in a while, but when I first bought this, I loved it and I think it'll go along well with this look. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the color Soft Lilac. If you use the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks, if you find them very dry, I recommend putting some like Agave Lip Mask from Bite Beauty or something really heavy like that underneath just like a little little light coat of it though it makes a very big difference in how they apply for a long time i hadn't been wearing these at all because i didn't like the way they were sitting they were a little too dry on my lips but since i started doing this i like them again now so if, you, if you've been having that problem try that and this is the first look and also for look number three as a matter of fact but let's start at look number two I have an idea but I don't know if that idea is really a thing or if it's just some concoction I have in my head that's not gonna work at all come with me and find out if it's a thing for the first one I'm thinking a cut crease right but cut on the inside cut on the outside open in the middle with like a spotlight does that make sense? Is that a thing? Because we're gonna try it. To start trying it, I'm gonna pick up my BH number five and I'm gonna go into the shade Utopia just as a very subtle crease color just to start the whole thing off with. I'm gonna go through the whole crease with this one. Next, I'm gonna go into Hot Mess. Hot Mess has kind of become like my staple color from this palette for sure. I'm gonna go through my crease with that, but only on the outside and the inside. And I want to make sure even the darker crease color is a little bit above my natural crease so that when we cut it, you'll still see the darker color and get that contrast. And I'm going to deepen it even further using that same little Sigma brush and the color of Vortex. Just the tiniest bit of Vortex though. I'm not going to do too heavy handed with that because it is rather intense. I'm going to take my MAC 221S. I'm going to go back into Hot Mess and I'm going to start packing that on the outer and inner corner as well. Just a little bit of it though, because I am gonna cut those areas. I just don't want like the end of it to not make sense. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if this is gonna wind up showing just in case it does. So I'm gonna do the cut 
on the outside and the inside. Now we're going to see how it works out. I've been using the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer on my face, but also to prime my eyes and to cut my crease lately. And I'm kind of living for it. It dries really quickly and it like doesn't move. And I haven't even been powdering it a lot of the time. It's actually pretty impressive. So I'm going to use the shade four, which is one of the lighter shades that I have. And I'm going to use that to cut this crease, bitch. I'm using my Nabla Cut Crease Maker Brush. I'm going to go into the shade Supernova and I'm going to pack that on the areas where the cut is the most prominent. Okay, this is sort of starting to make sense. I do feel like I need to mention that Supernova is like one of those very flaky metallics and it's a little bit difficult to work with in the sense that it like comes up from the pen in like chunks. So if you don't get it on your brush right, it kind of just falls off. And for some reason on this eye, I'm having a hard time getting it to stick completely. I'm gonna go back over it afterward and like see if I can make it a little bit more even. But as of right now, there's a little bit of chunkiness over here and some lack of blendability into the shades around it. So just a little note there. I'm gonna take my Nabla small pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Ultraviolet. And I'm gonna take that on the corners of where we made those cuts just for a little bit more depth, but to continue the shimmeriness. For the space that's left on the center of the lid, I'm gonna go into the shade Cosmic, press that right in the middle. Oh my, that is frosty. Oh, she is, she is a frosty lady. And I'm going to bring that up all the way to the height of the cut crease that we created. And also above it for a little bit of a spotlight, sort of a Harlequin effect within the cut crease. I'm gonna go into the shade Galaxy and I'm gonna make that pop even more by using that really bright shade on my finger right in the center. That one's like kind of glittery too, so I think it'll be pretty. All right, I think maybe we've got our shit together on this shape. I'm not sure. I think it's coming together. Are you with me? Are we going? We're almost there. Like, I don't think I invented anything new, but I don't think I've done this before, so at least it's something fun. For the bottom lash line, I wanna leave it a little bit more on the purple side. So I'm gonna start blending out with the shade Libra. I used this on the lid for the first look and it was lovely, might I say. And I'm gonna use that to make a little transition area for the bottom lash line that I'm gonna blend everything else out into. I'm gonna bring it nice and low. On my non Null pencil brush, I'm gonna go into Vortex. I'm gonna keep that purple energy in the waterline. So I'm gonna pick up Urban Decay Rockstar. This is like a nice plummy purple and it's not overly shimmery so i think it'll work well with what we've got going on here oh damn that was like perfect good choice nicole wow well done I'm gonna finish off these eyes with some mascara and lashes in just a second but i want to add a little bit of a highlight to the inner corner first I wasn't going to, and it wasn't because I had this grand plan to go against the grain and not highlight my inner corner. It was because I forgot. So I'm gonna take my Luxie 111 Mini and I'm gonna go into the shade Galaxy that we used in the center. We pressed it in the center and I'm going to just pop that on the inner corners to brighten them up just a little bit. All right, I added House of Lashes Midnight Lux. Did we do something here? I don't know. I don't know, but it's a thing. We have it, it's on, it looks pretty. For the lip, I'm going to use Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Unbutton. I think it'll go along nicely with this. You could possibly pair this with like a darker lip and get a much more dramatic effect. But you know what? I'm not feeling the drama right now. I'm not feeling dramatic. I'm not feeling whatever. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm using this color. And this is the second look. Time to start look number three. Now, between look number two and now, we had a little bit of an emergency in the Ms. Quinn Face household, and I had to take Charlie to the emergency vet, and he has not been feeling very well since last night. So he is laying next to me on the floor right now so I can keep an eye on him. So you may hear some sniffing, some grunting, some snoring, some noises because he is a little bit nauseous and he's also staring at me like I'm out of my mind right now for talking at this camera. So I'm going to turn my lights back on before I forget. We're going to hop right into look number three and do our absolute best. But if you hear any weird dog noises, it's because 
there's a dog there. But this look, I'm gonna start with a little bit more cool tone neutral shade in my crease. So I'm gonna go into the color Crash. There's a taupe shade right here. I'm doing that on a BH number six brush. I'm gonna go into Hot Mess again, and this time I'm doing it on my Nabla Pointed Crease Brush. I'm just gonna run that right through the whole crease to deepen that up. My biggest gripe with this palette so far is that there aren't a lot of shades that you could deepen your crease or like deepen anything in a look with. So it's like every look has to be deepened with these two purple shades or you're not gonna get any depth and it kind of makes them all be very similar if that makes sense. I'm gonna grab this Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Momentum right here. It's a very, very nude, well, nude to me, skin tone type shade. I'm gonna put that on the outer portion of the lid. I'm thinking I want that portion of the lid to seem like it doesn't have any shadow on it. So for me, that's gonna create the perfect illusion of that because it's pretty much the color of my skin. Next, I'm gonna go back with that same Nabla pointed crease brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Nebula. And I'm gonna use that shade on the inner portion of the lid. I usually don't like to do two wing liner looks in one video, but I'm gonna make an exception today because I think that what this palette is lacking, in my opinion, is a little bit of depth and structure that you can get from it. So adding the black liner really helps with that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna brighten up that inner corner a little bit, but I also don't wanna take away too much from that like purpley blue tone we've got going on with Nebula because I think it's very pretty. So I'm gonna go into the shade Cosmic, which is right up here on a pencil brush. I'm gonna use that to brighten the inner corner a touch. I'm gonna to bring that underneath the inner corner tear depthy area as well. For the lower lashes, I really wanna to try to steer away from only using these purple mattes. So I'm gonna go into Haze, which I used in the first look. It's a very pretty shade. I'm doing that on the Nabla pointed crease brush. I just cleaned it off and I'm going to use that to sweep under the lower lashes. That way, when I try to deepen it up further with the color Vortex again, we get maybe a little bit of a different effect than we would if we were using just the purple shades together. And next, on a little smudger brush, I am going to go into Vortex and see if we can get those to give us a bit of a different effect now that we have a different color that's blending out into. It's interesting because when you blend Vortex out into Haze, it almost looks more like a navy blue, which I was thinking would be the ideal color for them to put in this palette as like another deep shade to play with. I think that would have been really great. For the waterline, I think it would be best to brighten it up. So I'm gonna grab my Tarte Fake Wake Pencil and just run that through my waterline. I added House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes, and I think I wanna make sure that I stay very matte with the lips to go along with this look because there is so much shimmer going on just in general in this whole palette, but specifically in this look. But I do feel like it would be nice to keep it in the same tonal family, if you will. So I'm gonna pick up the liquid lipstick from Nabla in the shade Kernel. And this, is the third look. I literally have Charlie in my lap right now so I can like hug him and give him some comfort. So I'm not gonna be able to like hold things up like I normally would. But after doing three looks with this palette, I have some thoughts for sure. Personally, I'm not sure if this color story is really all the way there for me personally. I wish that, hold on, I need to use my other hand. I feel like at least three of these more neutral shades in here could have been replaced with something more interesting that would have made the palette more versatile because although I did do three different looks structurally, I felt like they mostly had pretty much the same vibe. I feel like maybe it could have been better. 
I also felt that the pinkish shade Supernova, the really, really foiled one, that one didn't perform as well as I would have liked it to. It is a very foiled looking shadow once you get it on the lid, but it is very chunky and difficult to spread out. But that being said, the rest of the shimmers in this palette are really beautiful. And the first look that I did, I actually really, really enjoyed that a lot, especially layering that bluish teal shimmer over the black liner. I think that looked gorgeous and I'm super happy with that color. I think if you're looking for some like icy shimmers and you're not necessarily looking for an entirely complete palette that's going to give you all the looks you could ever desire and you're just looking to add those types of highly frosty shimmery shades to your collection then you probably will like this a lot. For me if I had to choose between the Huda Nude Mini palettes and this one I would 100% go with the Nude Minis. I think they were far more interesting even though they are are a nude theme. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you try this palette? Have you had your eye on it? Would you rather pick up something else in its stead? I would love to know your thoughts on it. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it because it's very helpful for me and I really appreciate it. And also if you are new around here, please go ahead and subscribe because I would love to have you around for more videos. I have some looks planned with the new Tati Beauty palette as well as the two new Norvina mini palettes. So that will all be coming shortly and don't want to miss out on that. If you want to keep up with me between videos, I am at Miss Quinn Face over on Instagram. I post lip art, close-ups of the makeup I do here, and on my stories, I do my PR unboxing, just behind the scenes day to day, little things here and there. We run lots of polls, and I would love to have you around for that as well. I am going to go take this little man right here and snuggle him down on the couch while I edit this video. I would lift him up to say hi to you guys, but I don't even want to disturb him right now because he finally got comfortable. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry that this last look was a little bit more simple than I was planning, but you know, circumstances. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in the next one. And further using using it <coughs> my biggest gripe with this palette so far is that the uh,